Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to tie a very simple but still a very effective fluke rig. Uh, this rig has definitely helped me catch a lot of fluke over time and I wanted to share this with you guys. I usually like to keep things simple because it saves time while you're fishing without any hassles. All you need for this rig is some leader line, a ball sinker with a swivel, a fishing clip and two 60 J hooks. Stay tuned guys. This rig actually consists of two sections. The first section will consist of the ball sinker with a swivel and approximately two feet of leader line. To tie the first section, we will be using a Palomar nut to tie uh, the leader line to the bottom section or the swivel section of this ball sinker. The reason why I like to use a Palomar nut is because it's very quick and easy to tie while fishing without wasting time and is also considered one of the strongest nuts. To begin tying the first section of this rig, all we have to do is take a leader, form a look like this, and go through the swivel eye of the ball sinker like this. Once you've done this, all you do is form another loop like this, go over, go through the opening with a loop, and then bring the loop over the ball sinker like that, and pull it through. All right? Now what you want to do is pull this tight like that. Now before tightening up this knot all the way, I do strongly recommend that you moisten this up uh, many of us will just use saliva on the field, but for demonstration purposes, I'll be using a wet towel in this case. Let's make sure that this is moistened properly. And then pull this through all the way. Now before you tighten them all the way as well, you want to make sure you pull the main line first. Like that. And then the tag end. This will prevent any slippage of the knot itself. And there you go. There you have your Palomar knot. You could see that this leader line is now secured to uh, a double line on the swivel, which is what makes this knot very strong. It is very easy to tie, very quick, and very strong. Now that we've tied another this knot, all we have to do is take the tag end and just cut that off. Like that. And now you see you have this ball sinker secured to this leader line. Right. The next thing we will be doing is securing a hook to the end of this leader line. Uh, one thing I do recommend is to uh, for fluke fishing is uh, keeping this leader line anywhere between 12 to 14 inches. In my experience, anything longer than that sometimes prevents you from feeling the bite. So uh, you should try to recommend keeping this leader line between 12 and 14 inches max. Now to secure the hook to the end of this leader line, I'll be using a similar Palomar knot. Like I said, the reason why I like the Palomar knot is it is very quick to tie, very simple, um, but yet one of the strongest knots you can uh, definitely tie. I've used this knot fishing for sharks, cobia, striped bass, and hasn't failed me a single time so far. Go through the uh, top of the eye of the hook, I guess. Form another loop. And go through the opening. And then over the hook, like that. Pull the hook through the loop. And pull it tight. Again, before you tighten up this knot all the way, you want to make sure it's moistened properly. Feel free to use your saliva, or in this case, I'll be using water again. All right, um, pull it tight, pull the main line. Now this part uh, gets a little bit tricky um, because you want to make sure that the main leader line goes over the eye of the hook like that, push it up, and then pull the main line tight, 
like that. And make sure you pull the main line tight and then the tag end as well. All right. Let's just make sure that uh, this nut is very tight. Gonna... There you go. There you have it. That's how simple it is to secure your hook using a Palomar nut. All right, we're gonna take the tag end again. And just cut the tag end off. And there you go. We just completed our first section of this fluke rig. We have the ball sinker with a swivel that's tied to a leader line between 12 and 14 inches. And at the end of the line, you have the 6.0 J hook. The reason why I like to use 6.0 J hooks is because it's the perfect size for fluke fishing and it prevents uh, you from gut hooking uh, flukes especially if you're using too small of a hook uh, and the hookup rate has been amazing with a 6.0 hook so this hook size is perfect for fluke fishing now let's move on to the second section of this fluke rig for the second section all you need is approximately 5 feet of leader line 2 3 4 5 take a 5 foot section of leader line the next thing we'll do is take one end of the leader line, move up about a foot above that, and form another loop that's approximately 10 to 12 inches long, like that. Right. Right. So what we're going to do next is create a T-nut. The T-nut is one of my favorite nuts to tie because it is very simple. Um, and it also helps prevent tangling of the hook line uh, against the main line. So all we do is, once we form a loop of 10 to 12 inches, all we do is go around like this and go around the loop about six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, there you have it. And what you're gonna do is pull this slowly. Again, before you tighten up any knot, make sure that you moisten the line properly to avoid any weaknesses. Let's take care of that now. Get this wet. And then tighten this up properly. Like that. There you go. You want to make sure this nut is as tight as possible. Just cinch it in a bit. Alright. Alright. And what we have now is a very tight nut with approximately 10 in a 10 inch loop. Good. The next thing we'll do is take the main line and form a loop like this. And twist it about six to seven times. Basically like a dropper loop. Two, three, four, five, six seven right and what you do is pull the loop and the knot through the opening like that but make sure that this knot stays as close as possible to the main line and just pull through pull gently tight now again before we tighten up this knot let's make sure it's moistened properly that and complete the teen dot gentle and there you go now we have our perfectly created 
Chitina. We got the main little line here, and we have the T knot that goes out the loop. It is very important that this knot is as tight as possible to the main line to avoid any place. What you want is this really tight T knot. This knot will prevent the uh, the hook line from tangling up with the main line. So it pushes the hook line away from the main line, preventing any tangles. That's why it's very important to keep this knot as close as possible to the main line like that. It's a perfectly shaped T nut. All right. So once we create our T nut, we're going to take this shorter section. It's about a foot to the side of the T nut. We're going to take this shorter section and tie a fishing clip like this. I'm going to use a Palmer nut again to secure this clip. Again, let's margin this up properly. And pull it through. Like that. Time up the main line. Let's make sure this nut is as tight as possible. I'm going to use my uh, multi purpose scissor again. And pull this through. There you go. There you go. Now we have our fishing clip that's secured to polymer nut. Let's take the tag end and just cut it off. Perfect. So what we have here is basically a T nut that goes through a loop and about 10 inches below that we have it secured a tie to a fishing clip. I'll explain later on the purpose of the fishing clip. Uh, the reason why we want to keep the T knot approximately about 10 inches, I'll keep it as short as possible to not more than 10 inches, is because you want this second hook line to be as close as possible to the bottom as well. Because that's ultimately where you're catching the fluke. All right. Um, the next thing we will be doing is take one end of this loop of the T-nut and just cut it off like that. Now what you have is a much longer hook line like that. The next thing we will be doing is basically tie a second hook of the line that comes from the T-nut. You want to keep this line approximately 10, uh, 12 inches as well. We're going to take a uh, second hook. I'm going to use a Palmer knot again. And there you go. We have our second hook, J hook, secured to the T nut. We have now completed a second section of the fluke rig, which basically consists of a T nut connected to a 10 inch leader line to a fishing clip and about 12 inches of leader line here connected to another or second J hook 60 J hook that is to complete this fluke rig all we have to do is take our first section that we tied initially with the ball sinker and the first hook and all we have to do is just clip it on to this fishing clip like that what we have now is basically a ball jack that is connected to a leader line and a J hook and 10 inches above that we have a second line with another hook. The reason why I'd like using a fishing clip at the bottom of, of this uh, rig here is because it allows me to easily interchange the ball sinkers as needed. 
For example, if I'm fluke fishing in the bare areas, I could be using a ball sinker anywhere between 1 to 3 ounces. If I'm fluke fishing in the ocean, I could be changing that to 3 to 5 ounces depending how strong the current is. I will now show you how easy it is to interchange ball sinkers when needed. In this case, I'm using a 3 ounce sinker that's secured to this fishing clip. If I wanted to now change that to 1 ounce uh, sinker, all I have to do is take this and take it off like that take a smaller one on sinker and that's it that's how easy it fast it is now I have a one ounce sinker that's secured to the clip and a another hook now if I wanted to change this ball sinker to a different rig all I have to do is easily just take this off like that take the other rig and just clip it on that's how easy it is now I have a 3 ounce ball sinker that's connected to a fluke rig a fluke jig right here this is what your finished rig will approximately look like. We have the uh, the bottom leader line connected to a hook and a ball sinker which will basically be floating, uh, fluttering right above the ground where the flukes are hiding. And we have the top hook approximately 10 inches above the bottom leader line. Hope you like this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment below and let me know what you think about this rig. This rig has definitely helped me catch a lot of fluke over the years and I'm sure I'll do the same for you. Thank you again for your support and until the next video.